guys welcome to my channel my name is juliana if you're new here i am a third year law student in new york and normally i post law school vlogs and lifestyle content but today's video i'm going to be unboxing the new ish well new to me macbook air with apple's new m1 chip so before we get into the video let me just tell you about the specs of this macbook that i got versus the one i have and just a quick little story time about why i decided to upgrade to the m1 chip so i chose the 8 core cpu 8 core gpu and the 16 core neural engine say that five times fast <laughs> with the upgraded 16 gigabyte of unified memory and the 512 SSD storage. So I currently have the MacBook Air 2020, which I upgraded to last June. I customized that to the i7 Intel quad core processor because I needed it to be fast. And I upgraded 16 gigabyte memory and the 512 gigabyte SSD storage. I definitely needed that upgrade because when my law school went remote, I had a MacBook Air from early 2015. So I didn't get a brand new MacBook going into law school because the one I had at the time was only two years old. And I was really only using it to type notes up and that was it. I used pages and that's really all I needed it for. I wasn't even blogging at the time. I didn't start my blog until spring semester of 1L. So I only needed my laptop literally to write research papers and take my notes on. Once we switched to remote learning, that MacBook was just not meant to handle Zoom University. <laughs> and overall, I've seen a drastic improvement from that to the 2020 model that I currently have. But there are a couple of reasons why I decided to trade in the 2020 model for the M1 chip. Number one, they announced that the July bar exam is officially going to be remote, which means I'll be taking it right here. My life has literally been right here, like every single day. <laughs> for the past year, so I can't wait to extend that to this summer. Mm, okay, enough with the sarcasm. Because the bar exam is going to be remote, I wanna make sure that I have the best of the best technology because I am psychotic. <laughs> if it does come out within the next few months, I'm absolutely buying the iMac, but in case they don't, I'm only allowed to register one device for taking the bar exam at home. And I'm not allowed to use my dual screens, which stinks because I really do like having a larger screen and that's why I want the iMac, but i rather have the faster processor. That's one of the reasons, the bar exam. And number two is performance just on a day-to-day, -day. like with apps like Zoom and iMovie, which I use to edit my YouTube videos. Because I even find that with the, all the upgrades that I did on the 2020 version, the apps still lag when I'm either on a long Zoom call or like times where I'm editing 4K video on iMovie and the fan turns on and it sounds like I'm taking off on a flight to God knows where. So <laughs> I'm very excited for this upgrade because there's no fan. So it's not going to sound like I'm taking off anywhere. So that's good. All right. So that's my story. Let's open this bad boy.
set it up. It honestly right now looks pretty much identical to my other one. <laughs> Alright, so that is all getting transferred over and while we wait let me share with you my favorite accessories none of these are brand new some of them i did actually get probably within the last few months but i didn't need to buy any new accessories for this mac they have the same ports as one another and i didn't see any new accessories that i needed so let's just get into the accessories that i use every single day i honestly don't know how people just survive with a 13 inch screen i really i really don't so let's take a look at what i got going on so here's my setup obviously it's very cluttered right now with the whole three screen situation but <laughs> We will be getting rid of one of those shortly. Moving in closer here. First thing I'll talk about is my keyboard and mouse combo. You have to order them separately, but I have them both linked on my Amazon shop, which I will put the links in the description box below. What I love about this is that it has three settings that you can pair devices to via Bluetooth. So number one is for my laptop. Number two, I press and I could instantly switch to my iPad. We are still transferring here. The second thing is what makes the magic happen. It's what connects my MacBook to this beautiful large screen over here. It is a USB-C cable connector. So here you have on the side, you're gonna have another USB lightning cable port, um, two USB ports, a micro SD card slot, a SD card slot, and then a, another lightning cable port, which is awesome. Then I have the HDMI cable that flows through the back into my larger screen and it connects. I can either have it closed and then the screen is just all on one or I can have dual monitors which most of the time I do have it dual monitors because I like to have a lot of space and I have a lot of things open all the time. And the last accessory is this laptop stand which comes in rose gold really cute also from Amazon. So that's it for the accessories that I use very simple but the absolute best i promise you and so we have about 25 minutes left on this transfer and then i'll show you a few of the apps that i use on a daily basis for law school and that will be it we are transferred and they are literally identical <laughs> it's 11 18 p.m. So for this portion of the video, I changed into my pajamas because <laughs> I'm really, really tired. Today was definitely a struggle, but I am still pushing on because I love you guys so much and I can't go another Sunday without uploading. So let's screen record and I will show you my setup. So there are four... <laughs> that count four apps that I use all the time every single day and that's pretty much it let's see I'll start off with pages is what I use to type my notes out and I will a lot of the time link my pages notes in my notes on good notes I've been going back and forth between the two this semester because if I'm handwriting them, I'll write them in good notes on my iPad. But lately I have had a lot of stuff going on, so I am just typing them up and I don't really have the time to handwrite anymore. So here we go. This is my notes template that I have on pages. I have that available on my shop. I'll link it in the description box below and I have a Word document template of this as well so it can work on word or pages then 
Another app that I love is Notion. I started using it about a week and a half ago. If you want to know more about my Notion setup and how I use it for law school and planning just every aspect of my life pretty much, you can check out my last video. I will link that up here in the cards. It's a good one, I promise. And there's a free template if you're interested in my template that I have going on here. And then I like to use the Stickies app. So it pops up here on the screen and I put it underneath the reminders slash to do's and I'll update this accordingly. So the wallpaper I made myself on Canva and I separate it into these three blocks so I can add in. I never had folders on my screen before, but these folders I downloaded from Etsy. I'll link the shop below. I don't know the name, unfortunately, but I will find it and link it because these folders are so cute. And so now I have them on my desktop because I think they look aesthetically pleasing. And then this is just all of my classes that I'm taking this semester and my notes from pages and any documents and handouts are all held in there. And then I have GoodNotes, which I mainly use on my iPad, but I also have it on here so I can switch simultaneously through the app here and on my iPad if needed. So um, let's see, we can go into secure transactions and then you can see that ooh, this is the syllabus and I've marked it all up and everything. Here are my written notes. They get prettier as I go on. Well, then I have some handouts and this is what I'm talking about that I had my notes that I typed up on pages that's here and I just saved it as a PDF and sent it over to GoodNotes. More class notes. See, they do get prettier, I told you. And that's it. I'm excited to see how this handles my video editing and Zoom School of Law. I will definitely be posting a updated review and let you know my thoughts on it. I didn't necessarily need to upgrade, but I think that it will ease my anxiety about the bar exam. I hope you guys liked this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a video. And I promise the vlogs will be back next week because I just was like really tired this week and vlogging, sometimes I just, I love you guys and I wanna talk to you guys, but I look really, really ratchet sometimes and I just don't want that to be broadcasted on the internet <laughs> so <laughs> I will see you guys next week thanks for watching